out. There's a jungle out. There's a there's a there's a jungle out. Crying out loud. There's a there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our minds Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe on your home, be safe in the streets It's a cold place and I'm nearly feeling the heat I never wear gold cause someone's always beeping by the fender Still crying much, came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new the There's a jungle out there and the Hi, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ian Allen. This is Crime Watch, and we are back. Top of the evening to you. All those of you who are locked on and lying, a special good evening to you. All those of you who are looking at me from all over the world, a special good evening to you. Well, I know by now you want to know, you know, you, you, you want to call in, you want to find out what's happening. It's been a rainy, rainy day, rainy, rainy day, a lot of rain and whatnot, a lot of things happening. But nevertheless, you know, you know what we need to do? We need to be the iron while it's hot. You need to be the iron while it's hot. Who don't like it? Well, too bad. Who don't like it too bad? Who don't like it too bad? One thing I can't... Listen to me now. I'll tell you this today. Whether you like it or not, I just can't get over. I just can't get over what I showed you yesterday with respect to, these, with, with respect to the, 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 the document showing how the, how the, the debt increase, the, inf the infections increase when we lock down this place. And, even, and before, it was, it was better. Remember I showed you the document last night? Look at it. You know, and hardware's opening three days and all kind of thing. You really think this makes sense? Now, I'm just thinking about it today. Imagine that yeah, between May, May the 16th and, Jan, and up to this day, June, June the 19th. You have 14,000 plus cases, 447, but before the lockdown, it's 7,221 and 126. Do you really think that makes sense? And all over, you know, and I, I don't think I took calls today, but I want to take some calls today. Also, I'll tell you about the SCA. I know a lot of parents want to know what's happening to the SCA. Because today, you know, the Ministry of, the, 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 the Ministry of Education had a press conference and whatnot. So let's put back that document and open up the lines for me, please. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. 6714062. Because it's like all about locking on. You're, you know, you have no reason to lock down. Three days are hardware opening for. How hard hardware can contribute? Three days. Only three days are hard, are, are hard we could open. That is craziness. But bakery opening every day. Supermarket opening every day. Pharmacies opening every day. It just does not make sense. Supermarkets should be open every day. Pharmacies should be open every day. Other business places should be open every day. Nobody cares about our bread boy. Nobody cares about the poor in this country. Nobody cares about the poor. And people who talk and people when they see me and they get vexed and say, if that is all you can talk about, these, 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 these are the same people that have a sure salary. You see, when you have a sure salary, you see, you see when you have a... a, 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 a a uh, sure, sure salary. Only who need kitchen feels the heat, you know. Some of you might say, well, yeah, next week and this and that and hardware's opening, but quite next week, three days. I tell you, today I was somewhere and I'm, just, I'm looking at what kind of food selling in this place. What kind of food selling in this place? And it's like, and I asked the girl next to me, Sally, I said, look at it, look at it. You, you know, you can sell all these different items, all this kind of food, but it cannot be sold by a roti shop, this and that. It's like, it makes no sense. This whole thing makes no sense. And I don't know if all you're forgetting. Let me tell you this, yeah? All we need is $130,000 in it. That is all we need now. $130,000 so we can be herd immunity here. 130 million dollars that is all that is all and i know kind of money the scheme of things that is in fact i said yes I, in fact i know i said 130,000, but 130 million that is no kind of money the scheme of things the kind of billions passed through 19 billion and it's like we're suffering and and, and and people just don't care 
You're telling me now you want to, you know, you want to see like a, a commissioner of police. And, and I stood right here and I tell you, I tell you, I said, listen, they do, you know, they're going to come and they're going to put pressure on Gary. They're going to do him all kind of thing. And so said, so done. And now you want to come now and pick a commissioner of police. Now, the selection of a commissioner of police, the police service commission plays a very pivotal role. They, they are the persons who are responsible for the selection and whatnot. You want to... As the opposition leader said yesterday, you want to put a handcuff on the, po on the, on the, pol uh, on the police service commission. And you know what you want to do? You want to pick your candidate. So I can come now. I pick this one. I can pick, I, I can pick anybody. 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 Bam, I pick you. Take your name. Go by the president. And the president will consult with the, co with the, with the cabinet and, and with government. And government will say, all right, well, yeah. Now, the, the president could only appoint the person based on the advice of the cabinet. And all that, ladies and gentlemen, keep your eyes open. All that is dictatorship. Our autocratic style is, you know, this man, he has a, just like what, like what they did in Guyana and whatnot. And just what Maduro did. Once you control the police service, once you control it, once you control it, you can lock up no dog back. You're hearing rumors about some journalists being suspended and this and that. But journalists all over in Trinidad, they can't print what they want. They can't write what they want. I know media houses right now, Muslim journalists, Muslim. Those who write in, they're Muslim them. They're Muslim them. Those who report in, know what you're saying. Bat in your crease. Ask put, ask, don't ask too much of hard questions. You know, I, I crazy enough to, to ask to go to that press conference, Yeah. And you can't stop me. You will have to accept me and honor because I'll take you straight to court. I'll go straight to court. But they won't take that chance. The, the Prime Minister wouldn't take that chance because he knows that I am onto him. He knows that I'm onto their faults and their lies. Whether they like it or not. Look what's going on in this country now, boy? Look what's going on in this country. $30 for two bygones right now. Tomatoes is $20 or, or how much how much now? A pound. Craziness. Poor people cannot live. Poor people cannot live anymore. We just cannot live. And nobody cares. And the people have to start to stand up. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, they know in the coming half, they say, you see, after this pandemic, you know what's going to happen? They, they, go, they are going to be confronted with a series, a series of protests. People are going to block road. People are going to rile up. People who are walking. Carla Caribbean Airlines is going to send home 450 plus persons. Yeah, they're going to do that. He's talking about opening borders, yeah, but, and, and they are in discussion with Caribbean Airlines. But what he didn't tell you is that big retrenchment going to start. It's going to cost taxpayers how much? 100 plus million. All about open up, all about sailing. We still stagnant. We are stagnant because we be because you know why they like corruption. They are a bunch of corrupt politicians. That is what they are. And some people ask me, that's all they can talk, that's all I can talk because hold it on my mind. Hold it, hold it, hold it, answer in phone. Give my hamper, you and all you and have a hamper. Give my hamper, send me something to eat. You and all you have anything to give me, but I can't pay my rent. I, I live in my mother now. I was living by, the, by, I had my own apartment and I can't pay my rent for the last four months and the landlord don't understand. I can't, can't wait, what do you call the landlord and tell them what? Landlord had to pay light bill. Boy, I tell you, I tell you, it just ain't easy. Ladies and gentlemen, just to let you know, 14 deaths, 14 deaths today, 14 deaths, 14 deaths, 10 yesterday, Sunday 5, Saturday 19, Sa between Saturday and Monday, Saturday and Monday at 34, Friday at 14. But you're not rolling, let me ask you something, you're locking down, you're locking down, you're locking down. Why the hell you just don't give us the vaccine? Why all this lies and schemishness, schemish and, and racket, with, racket with your government? They just racket, racket after racket. And you see people who talk, people who talk and say you're unrolly, you're unrolly, you're unrolly. People who talk is people who have money in their pocket. People who have business. People who drive in fancy car. Nobody don't give a, a flying hoot. A body poor man. Nobody gives a flying hoot. A body poor man. Nobody. 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 And when you ask them about vaccine, 
Remember, you remember I, I, I showed you, I showed you something. Hold on, yeah? Open up your lines. I call. Good evening. Yeah. Ian? Uh-huh. You hear me? Yeah, loud and clear. Right. Ian, uh -huh. a lot of people are suffering in this country. I can't seem to hear. I say a lot of people are suffering in this country. Can we check the boxes and whatnot? Yeah. Right. Many of them are not... They just, don't a second, just a second. Just a second. Um, no, we're not hearing you. We're not hearing you. I say a lot of people are suffering in this country. No, we can't hear. We're not hearing. We're not hearing. Well, is your line is at fault, you know? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Okay. I say a lot of people are suffering in the country, one way or the other. Ah. You hear me now? Yes, I'm hearing you. Right. And as a result of which, people, they don't have food in their house. And as you are saying, they're asking you, for a hamper, but not only you, they're asking others to for help and so on. But these very, very sad people who are suffering and catching the linen come next election. We're not hearing, you're not hearing because he has a he's he's he's, he's, he's listening to his audio, he has audio on and whatnot. Yeah, we need to check that. We're gonna take a fast break when we come back, we'll continue. Perfect. RDK Welding and Fabricating is your only choice for windows, gates, handrails and more. We have expert craftsmen on hand to fabricate any design with the highest grade materials at affordable prices. Check out our latest sale on heavy duty security steel doors. Visit us next to the Diwali Nagar and Shikwanas or call 317-2236 or 719-0115 to speak with a sales rep. RDK Welding and Fabricating Limited, the king in fabricating. Sincelli Yokes, located at Grand Bazaar and Twin City Mall. For camisoles, panties, bras, sleepwear, body briefer, handbags, luggage sets, wallets and more. From petite to full-figured women. Free bra fitting with trained consultants. With brands like Goddess, Fantasy, Freya, Bali and more. Our bra sizes range from 28D to 54K. Free wire and molded cups. Panties small to 9XL. Sleepwear from small to 6XL. Sincerely yours for the perfect fit, luggage and lingerie. Build collagen, hydrate and nourish your skin with Organifi Gold. This 100% vegan superfood with 13 ingredients aids in the production and maintenance of collagen resulting in more youthful clear glow. Aloe vera, coconut water, camu camu fruit and pomegranate are some of the ingredients which hydrate your skin and produce collagen. Available at pharmacies nationwide or contact Gradient Health and Fitness, the sole distributor for Organifi and TNT today. For generations, hard work and good advice have been essential. So when hard work gives me tough pain, I rely on Panadol Ultra that relieves fast five types of tough pain. Take good advice. Take Panadol Ultra. Find your trusted Panadol Ultra with a new look. Don't be fooled by other brands. Crime Watch Studios has the Dr. Davy and 4 Plus brands of hand sanitizers. Guaranteed to kill 99.9% .9 of viruses, germs, and bacteria. Get a gallon for $240 and 1.2 liters for $95. Place your orders now. Call 225 3250 or our hotline numbers. Your health is your priority. It's where you'll find only the best of brands Also Garden Automotive Plus more. You'll find it all, you'll find it at the tool store At the tool store it's only tools for St. Rose Funeral Services. We don't just say we care, we show that we care. 24-7 removal services, international shipping and embalming, pre-planned funeral arrangements with complete burial or cremation, locally made caskets and coffins customized for your loved ones, wreath, floral arrangements, programs, prayer cards and mourners vehicles, max of your car all provided for your family's comfort. When you're leaving, leave in style. St. Rose Funeral Services, number 5 Bazalon Street, Tunapuna, 645-1075-337-9686. Allow us to honor your family members. Uh, just to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, the Secondary Entrance Assessment S uh, SCA 
is scheduled for July the 1st, 2021. The announcement was made by Minister of Education, Dr. Nayan Dolly, um, Gasby Dolly, during a media briefing today. A total of 19,656 students will be sitting the exam. The SEA is carded for Thursday, the 1st of July, 2021. It begins at 8.30 a.m. and a total testing time of 3 hours and 20 minutes. Students will be examined in three subjects in the following order. English Language Arts Writing, 50 minutes. Mathematics, 75 minutes, followed by a 30-minute break. And then English Language Arts for 75 minutes. The exam has been amended for 2021. The time for execution remains the same. However, there has been a reduction in the content and the curriculum coverage, as well as in the number of items that have been placed on that paper. The SE assessment framework and the specimen papers are available on the website of the Ministry of Education. There are 19,656 students registered to write SEA 2021 with 9,905 males and 9,751 females. Tobago has a total of 1,064 candidates and 18,592 registered in Trinidad. At this time, I would like to turn you over to... So you have an idea now, so you know, a, lot, a lot of parents had concerns. A lot, a lot of parents had concerns about the SEA and whatnot and the with respect to time and, the, the, you know, they were of the opinion that it would have been rescheduled. But nevertheless, the date is set for July the 1st. We wish the 19,656 students who will be sitting the exam all the best. All the best. I know it's challenging and whatnot. But, you know, I'll tell you something. You have approximately 2,000 students drop out of school, right? You know that, right? 2,000. 2,000. And it just don't bother them, you know. It just don't bother them. Because there are, there are children who can't even sit there because they, you know, they haven't gone to school, they, they don't have devices and whatnot, and the picture is very big. And it's serious. There are students out there who just can't do nothing. Maybe they were going well when they had, you know, whatever they had in the school and whatnot. But when they, as soon as the shutdown came, they had no devices. There are people who don't have no internet at home. And it's hard to be photocopying this and photocopying that. Parents not working. Maybe they lost their job. Maybe the mother's working at a little roti shop. The father's doing odd jobs and whatnot. Maybe the father has a car wash or so. People don't understand. And people just talk and say, once it's your, it's your children's education, you have to do this and you have to do that. But it's hard. Because just to let you know, exam said, but it's 2,000 students. We have dropouts right now. Take me to clip 18 from Saturday. So it was reported by the um, Education Minister that at least 2,000 students would have dropped out of school during this period. How much of a concern is that to you? And if one child drops out of school is of great concern to me and to all of us. But um, in the middle of the pandemic, we know that there were stresses on certain families, certain children, and some people didn't get the kind of support that they should have had, and it would have resulted in them not going through the school system. That's something that is going to come back to us eventually. We will not leave it that way. Imagine some of them are challenges, some of them there's nothing we could have done, blah, 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 blah. I mean, do you know how many children out there do have a device? You know how hard it is? I mean, I have, in the past, in recent times, assisted the purchase of devices and so on. But how much I can really do? How much I can really do? How much do my studio can really do? How much? And it's sad. It's just sad. It's just sad. People don't have data at home. People don't have Wi-Fi. It's sad. People rent, and wherever they rent, the landlord maybe didn't really make any accommodation to, to have Wi-Fi for the tenants and whatnot. So the tenants and them have to depend on, you know, they, 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 are, they have to depend on, they have one phone. A phone is a big thing for a poor family, you know. And then children do have phone. And yet people will say, that is all you can talk. That is all you can talk. I have a job to make sure and let you know what's going on. Also with respect to the employees of the Caribbean Airlines, Carl, 
We are expected to meet with representatives from the Aviation Communication and Allied Workers Union today to get some clarity on their job situation following Carl's announcement yesterday that 25 percent or 450 of its, of its employees will be laid off. Exactly who or what set of workers are to be placed on the chopping block was not revealed, but the news has left some work workers anxious and heartbroken. Yeah, anxious and heartbroken. Speaking in today's Senate sitting, Finance Minister Colin Imbert said government has been given an estimate of 110 million for proposed, proposed retrenchment of Caribbean Airlines staff following the company's plan to reduce its fleet size. This is what he said in the Senate today. Made given to the Ministry of Finance at this time, this is subject to finalization, is in the vicinity of $110 million. Can I ask the Honorable Minister whether the government intends to work with all the parties involved in that company to ensure that the impact on retrenchment of workers can be seriously minimized, Madam President. Senator Mark, that question does not arise. Next question, Senator Mark. Can, to the Honorable Minister of Finance, can the Minister indicate how will the retrenchment of approximately 450 car workers impact the airline's operations when the borders are reopened in mid-July. Minister Finance. Thank you, Madam President. Caribbean Airlines has advised the Ministry of Finance that passenger demand on its routes, as projected by IATA, the International Air Transport Association, and its external consultants, Amadeus, to decrease in the short and medium term, so that it is expected that passenger demand will decrease in the near future and for the next year or so. I am advised that traffic is expected to return to pre-COVID levels in or around 2023. And this is based on advice from IATA and the consultants Amadeus. As a result, Cal plans to reduce its network and fleet size to match the passenger predictions given to it by its consultants. When the borders are reopened, Caribbean Alliance will have a reduced jet fleet and a, and a reduced ATR fleet, and will therefore service fewer routes than pre-COVID. Any separation of workers is directly as a consequence of the reduction in the fleet size and the reduction in the routes. Cal will therefore fly fewer frequencies and fewer routes. I wish to assure the Senate, and I have been advised, and I believe it to be so, that notwithstanding the reduction in the size of the airline, the routes that will be operated will be done at the highest levels of safety and service. Can the Honourable Minister advise this Senate whether he's aware of the number? The you know how sad that is? All them girls and them out of a job. The money don't, yeah, you yeah, you get your money, you know, but the money got done. You guys don't work no way. If I know I have a constant, a, a constant avenue of um, earning money, like, you know, I earn every month I've been getting. So you come and you give me a little lump sum. What am I supposed to do with the lump sum when I have a mortgage to pay? And I have to live and have a family. What am I supposed to do? Tell me. You, you get a lump sum of money, but I have a mortgage to pay. I have a child in university. I have children to mine. I have to buy school books, school opening. I have to maintain a car. Nothing could replace employment. Huh? Yeah, they might say, yeah, they gain the money. At least they gain the money. But you gain your money, but you're walking away. 
So every time you take a dip in the bank and you go, that's how I was telling somebody what it was, and it's better going to get a links card, you know. Yeah. Sometimes you feel like, you know, you know, long time, I don't know if you still have the links card with the, with, the, with the kind of parrot, the kind of bird on it. You are not the links card, the funny fool said, in the bird? But I had one of that. You know, something, I guess so, you know, you're, you know, you're here. You get credit card, you have black credit card, maybe you think I have an infin I've infinite and whatnot, but at the end of the day, it's like, you don't want to spend a bad cent. You just don't want to spend a bad cent. So I was telling somebody, you see me? I feel like going to get a links card. Yeah, so go by the thing and watch me. Chuck my card, take out, and you spend what you have. Yeah. What you do have, you don't spend. You agree with me? What you do have is, you, do, you, you just don't spend. Open up the lines, I call it good evening, your life on Crime Watch. So it's really sad what's happening. It's really, really sad. And do you know, ladies and gentlemen, there are managers in Caribbean Airlines right now collecting all 30, 40,000 US a month. Yeah? Why Rowley don't come out and talk about that? It up, it, it, and do you know, they sent home our people and yet the managers kept their friends working. You all know about that? It are people who are not even doing nothing but, but driving in, in Caribbean Airlines car right now. Car vehicle rented by Caribbean Airlines. Getting big money. Getting big money. And airport is open. Airport is nobody really traveling. Yeah, I'm telling you. All that could have been avoided. You know? All that could have been avoided. I tell it all you have to understand something. The one problem we have here, we one problem, and even the, the one problem is vaccine. And the whole thing is just racket. We don't have to live like this. You see, that's what bothers me every day. We don't have to live like this. We don't have to live like this. We don't have to be like this. Money, that is why, ladies and gentlemen, that is why they said that they're not going to give us, the, the, the U.S. not giving us nothing. Because they said, ladies and gentlemen, that we are self-financing. We could pay for we think we self. We have we money. But if Rowley and the government, if the government of Trinidad and Tobago has squandered the money, I don't know where the money went up, if it went down, if it went in the bank. I don't know wherever this money went to. As a result of how they squandered the money and the government thieved the money and whatever racket they run, is this small man suffering? Is this small man who had to go and buy the vegetables suffering? Is this small people? You really think if this place was managed properly, that you are to send them 450 people on the bread line? And you are going... So now, it is not going to... So now, there are senior pilots and whatnot. I have a lot of friends who are pilots. A lot, a lot of friends. And do you know, ladies and gentlemen... It's the junior pilots will be affected, but the junior pilots have installments. They have mortgage to pay. All this, was, all this, if this was managed properly, if this was really managed, like how the U.S. managed manage the business community and managed the bars in New York and everybody up, up on sailing right now, but it was mismanaged here. It was racket and racket and racket. You remember when the Pfizer came in on the flight? And the, the ambulance from Trinidad and Tobago Defense Force pick it up? Here now, let me tell you something. You see that? That is the biggest racket in recent times. Go back to that, the blue. That, that is the biggest racket. If I stand here, as I stand there, if I really go to give you the facts about the Pfizer, let me tell you something. People will lose their work. I know all about that. I know inside out. I know how. I know when. But just information, I don't want to come out. Because they, because they know people, people will lose their job. People will be disciplined. I'm not, not disciplined, sorry. They'll be pressured. They'll be pressured. Government will come down their throat. Yeah? If I give all this cause about that, how that Pfizer come. And this racket. And a man telling you he don't know nothing. 
He don't know nothing. Um, ambulance, some training. You can't get people to come out just so they're going to use a defense force, ambulance and whatnot to pick up things. You can't put nothing on a flight just so. So I could just put cocaine in a bag and put it on the flight just so then. And everybody's saying, they know, they know, they know, they know. But I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. Because I promised people I wouldn't talk. I promised people I just wouldn't talk. And people trust me. People trust me. And imagine, ladies and gentlemen, imagine, imagine, when they ask the man about the Pfizer that came in, that sneaking into this country, hear this man response on clip 17 now. Um, with regards to the vaccine, again, could you bring as much clarity as possible to the whole Pfizer issue? Um, what? what? Pfizer issue, the, the eating vials. That oh, issue. that. When you're home and told not to go to work, and you are also on the government payroll in the parliament and you have nothing to do, you could get involved in all kinds of things. You know. It just keeps the mind going. There's nothing to clarify because it was clarified from day one. But you know, it was so simple, so straightforward. There's nothing. You see, look, it's racket. That's a racket. Everybody know that racket. Them don't take the Pfizer already. Them don't take the Pfizer. You think them gonna take Senor Farm and AstraZeneca? They're dead like Frankie? Like, 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 um, what do you mean? of energy name? Franklin Khan? I saw a Frankie on my mind. Frankie saw me on my mind. All these police officers died. All these 700 plus. All that could have been avoided today. All that. Some of you couldn't even see your relatives. You think he took the, um, Frank, he took the, the AstraZeneca. He took it and he took it days before. And everybody know that. Everybody know that. So you think when them see that, them going to take AstraZeneca. Any one of them had unchosen them going to take AstraZeneca. But they would lie, they would lie till, till, water turn, till the water turn blood to make sure they take that Pfizer. Because all the world leaders, all the head on shows taking that. Well, America taking it. Remember, the Americans got that. It already had no side effect. But you take Jensen and Jensen, you take a one shot and that's it. And coming and saying that nothing to clarify and what. Not people not stupid. But that is why we have to keep on the heels. Because let me tell you something. When all they really start to rile up this place and start to protest and whatnot, they will have a commissioner in place that would listen only to what the PNM is saying. The prime minister of this country will be, the, will be the de facto commissioner of police. The commissioner of police that they're going to put will just be a puppet to the PNM government. So the PNM government say Ian Allen talking too much, go and give him a shake up, they go come here and give me a shake up. But that is a long time. That is a long time thing. Nobody had come in my place to give me no shake up. Nobody had jump in my wall by my house where it have armed guards. I tell you, it's different. It could be different. You are no warrant and you want to jump my wall, the security will deal with you. I tell you that on national television. Because we because you know why? Dictatorship. You start to interfere with the little journalists and them. Look, even the, imagine, the, even the opposition leader called yesterday and you know what she said? They persecute me and everybody know that. But I'm not backing down. Who say I'm backing down? Who say I'm backing down? I'm not backing down. Let them know it's racket after racket. 450 people. All them nice, nice girls and them. What they going to do? What they going to do? All them nice flight attendants. All them little pilots, all them girls and them who take the little loan to buy a car. What are they going to do? What are they going to do, Rowley? What are they going to do? Come by the diplomatic center. And we must just take that every day. Take what you're giving me. Take what you're giving me. I put up a paper showing you since the lockdown. The, 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 the case is skyrocket. It's skyrocket. Look at in front of your big eye. He looking, I know he watching. Boy, I tell you. Look at how much people died. Look at how much police officers died. 
Let me tell you, some police officers, all they're going to risk all their life out there and call all come out to a van and plane, all they tell them this one pony mass and boy, leave everybody, you know. Leave everybody because when you're there, you know where you'll get? Ian Allen will show up, put, put up your picture on TV. Commissioner Gary Griffith go, go, go acknowledge you. You'll get a little, a little small money, you'll get a big thing, and that is it, life done for you, you know. Your children go stop school. Your roof work here change again. Don't bother with none of them, you know. Don't bother with none of them, you know. Yeah, you take an oath, but them take oath and all too. You take an oath to protect and serve. But them, take, them took an a oath to make sure you, the citizens of this country, are well taken care of and what they're doing. All this is real back and all. Only corruption, I'm fed up of it. I just fed up. I just fed up. I just fed up. And you know what the man say? You know what the man say? He talk about, he talk about the lines. Oh, he observed the line. The line. The line to go and pay wasa bill. If I didn't, let me tell you something. And people don't understand this. If I, Ian Allen, you only want to hear who dead, who dead, who dead. I will tell you who dead just now. But I tell you this today. If I didn't give wasa and them a run, and stink up the name on national television. I don't know about nobody else, you know. Because let me tell you something. Nobody don't listen to nobody else. Not even after me or before me. After me, the show before me, the show, nobody don't listen to them. You don't understand this dance. My reach is into the millions. My reach is the, I have the biggest reach. So that is why this government is so fearful when I speak. And that is why they had to come and discon and stop the disconnection. Look how Raul, he have a two a, 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 a two tongue. You hear what he say? Go to clip eleven. But before we go to clip eleven, have the Wednesday back and already. Go to clip eleven. The border opening and the construction are go together, but they're not linked. It's the same time frame. But remember that these would be two flows of population movement in our society. So we then are going to be so much exposed. We're going to be exposed to the importation of that Delta virus from North America, which is where most of our traffic will be. And of course, we will be exposed by having so many more people out there. And hopefully those people out there would be largely vaccinated or Hold significantly on. vaccinated. Hold but on. More importantly... Is that clip 10 or clip 11? You need to check. Play clip 10, let me hear. Really vaccinated populations. We are not out of the woods yet. You would have heard about the... The, the, Come the, back to me. The Delta. Something mixed up here. Check back uh, where he talk about the WhatsApp bills bills and everybody, and everybody was on top of everybody. Check and see clip 11. Let me take a clip, a, a, a break. I want to show you something. Perfect. RDK Welding and Fabricating is your only choice for windows, gates, handrails and more. We have expert craftsmen on hand to fabricate any design with the highest grade materials at affordable prices. Check out our latest sale on heavy duty security steel doors. Visit us next to the Diwali Nagar and Shikwanas or call 317-2236 or 719-0115 to speak with a sales rep. RDK Welding and Fabricating Limited, the king in fabricating. We at SNS Prasad know the struggle and fears of our beloved customers during this time. To guarantee the safety of our customers and employees, we have implemented routine cleaning of all our station, lanes, trolleys, and baskets. Security to ensure observation of COVID protocols and sanitizing station throughout the grocery. We ensure our shelves are always fully stocked with a wide variety of cooking, cleaning, household, and clothing items to meet the need of your treasured family. For your convenience and safety, you can call and collect through curbside pickup or get one of our to-go bags containing the basic necessities. Or even better, place an order for your groceries and we'll have it delivered to your doorstep where we accept both cash and licks. At Dennis Prasad, Rio Claro and My Arrow, we are here for you. Can't tell a wig them rims. 
drive, I went to racetrack wheels for the best in brand name rims and the best in brand name tires for my car. Yeah, that's why I get my rims. <laughs> I must tell you, I am still a me. Liberty now Medical Center, a breakthrough in healthcare. We offer general practitioner and ultrasound services starting at $99. Our highly trained staff provides expert advice with specialists in endocrinology, diabetes, dermatology, and gynecology. General practitioners are available for all your medical needs. We offer x-rays, ultrasound, ECG, and full laboratory facilities to aid in your diagnosis and follow-up care. Also visit our in-house pharmacy, call 610-4562 or visit 154 Point of Air Road, San Fernando. Liberty Medical Center, where your health is our mission. When NASA set out to explore the reaches beyond our world, they needed a material that would hold up to the demands of the unknown. Flexible titanium. Engineered from the same alloy used for missile heat shields, Flexon set the new standard in durable eyewear. Flexible titanium eyewear. Available at Neo Eyewear, 91D Main Road, Suite 1, Montrose Mall, Chagornas, 672-5052 or 3903196. Rami, pepper sauce, for oh, how you taste so good and we want more, more. Rami, pepper sauce, for oh, how you taste so good and we want more, more. Sweet flavor, spicy soca, revive up, perfect blend of flavor. Soca, reviver, perfect blend of flavor. Rami, pepper sauce, the perfect blend of flavor. You know, no, I didn't make a mistake. I didn't make a mistake. But I just wanted to pull something for you, just to show. He's talking about he observed people on top of people to pay a bill. Why you didn't observe what went on the Wednesday? Why you didn't observe that? Yeah, this man, he observing wasa. And I tell you, he know about the wasa thing. And I tell you, he know about the wasa thing. Oh, he observed people upon people. And why you have to stand up so in the line? Why does study ask the people when they get money to pay the bill? Who pawned the jewelry? Who pawned the watch? Eh? Who sell the devices to go and pay wasa bill? Ask them now. Nah. You don't care. Look what you watching. For Wasa, watch. Yeah, me, I didn't make any mistakes. It was on clip 11. Go ahead. Vaccinated. But more importantly, behaving in a responsible way. I must tell you, I am still amazed at how the average person in this country is still not yet behaving responsibly. You are in a line. You don't have to be on top the next person's shoulder to be in the line. You could be six or eight feet away and be in the line and be in the line safely. I've seen some pictures of people coming to the grocery or going to pay their wasa bill. And because it's a wasa bill you're going to pay or because you're going to the grocery, you completely forget that there's something that you have to do to save your life. Yeah. Why you don't behave? Who are you talking to? You can't be talking to me. You can't be talking to Wiso. Who are you talking to? Yeah, we behaving, but what about the, what about the government thiefing? That's why we don't want no vaccine. Let me talk about you. But why, but why your government don't behave and tell the government and them stop thiefing? That is all. Tell the government stop thiefing. If you want me to behave, tell the government stop thiefing. You talking about Wednesday where people line up? I can show you clips from Wednesday when people went to pay the bill, you know. Sorry, when they went to pay the wasa bill, we have it. Go ahead. There's some little clips. You see anybody behaving bad? Look, Shagona's here. You see anybody behaving bad? What are you seeing? That might be evil thoughts up in your brain, in your cell, your brain cell. Will you see people behaving? But where I saw people being treated badly, where I saw people being treated, being treated badly is when your minister tell them, come for vaccine, and you didn't have none. Because again, 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 we don't have no vaccine because the government thieved the money. So we, have, so we have to behave like Wajank when we go by the health center because the government thieved all the money to buy the vaccine. And telling me in this 1.4 million pre people on our island here, you giving each health center 50 vaccines. Where is this a dog show? It ain't more 50 dog. It ain't more than, a, more than 50 dog in a little village. It ain't about a thousand dog in our village. 
And I've over 2,000 cats. And you're telling about 50 vaccines in, 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 in a health center? Why not talk about when all the light to the people and made them come out? Watch this. What the different shots are everybody? What the crowd? I want to see the crowd. The crowd. We have images of, of, of everybody. Watch. 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 I'll show you images just now. Watch. Look at people. Different people. Watch. That we're talking about? When, you lie, when, 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 when the minister of, 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 of health lied to the people and say, come out for vaccine, watch. That we're talking about? No, man. You have to tell them. You have to tell them. We want people to behave nice. How you can behave nice? How can I behave nice knowing? Could, how can the victim of a robbery behave nice? The victim of a robbery could never behave nice. How I could behave nice when I know I have been robbed? When I know I, when I, know I, I, I do have to close down my business. When I know that my son or daughter didn't have to die. When I know my neighbor or my uncle did not have to die. But because I racket in the vaccine. It's a racket all about. Racket on the racket. Why don't I explain to them what went on in the heliport in Chagaramas? When the big guns and them went for the private, the private shots. Explain that video now. Look at the video here. Explain that video now, Rowley. Don't shout. Explain that. When he had on church, Chinese and them went or whoever went for the vaccine privately. Me, I see no poor people out there. Wait, 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 wait. Show the crowd the, 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 the still shots. Watch. Look the poor people. Look the really, really people. Watch. Look the people and them. Look the small man and them going for the vaccine. But look with the big guns and them. Just go. You see anybody outside? No, it and nobody outside. Because different strokes for different folks in this country. Different strokes for different folks. They still let you know two men have been hospitalized following a drive-by shooting in Arapoon this morning. 21-year-old Jeremy Mitchell of, Ma of Maloney Gardens and Nathaniel McShine were both shot and wounded along Arapoon Boulevard on Tuesday the 22nd. According to reports around 10.15, a white wing road with three occupants were proceeding along Arapoon Boulevard when on reaching the vicinity of 2nd Street, a white Toyota Axio pulled up alongside and opened fire. This happened in Arapoon. Also, a 51-year-old retired soldier was wounded during a shooting incident in Maloney on Monday. According to police, the victim was standing near the entrance of Building 18 at about 6.15 p.m., when a white Nissan Versa vehicle, which was proceeding west along Flamingo Boulevard, suddenly stopped and its occupant opened fire. The vehicle then sped off. The victim then felt a burning sensation to the left leg and realized he had been shot. This is a retired soldier. Also, ladies and gentlemen, at 20, on Monday, a 25-year-old Maruga man appeared before a Princess Tom magistrate on Monday, charged with the murder of Venezuelan national Anderson Hill. Very good. Very good. With, um, after consultation with the DPP, uh, Mrs. Jo uh, Joan Honore Paul on Sunday, on, you remember Tuesday the 8th of June, a group of Venezuelans were at a beach along La Lune, Costa and Maruga, when they were accosted by a group of men. The assailant allegedly robbed the group of a quantity of cash and jewelry and cell phones. So ladies and gentlemen, this man has been charged for the murder. Good. We're going again. A 53-year-old lecturer of the University of the West Indies Open Campus was granted cash bill in the sum of 15000 when he appeared virtually before a magistrate on Monday charged with seven offenses. Wayne Monroe of Fiali Shutanapuna was charged with the following offenses. By no Wayne Monroe. But who the jail is this? What them charge Wayne Monroe for? Possession of firearms to endanger life Possession of ammunition to endanger life, 
three counts of shooting with intent to do grievous bodily harm, two counts of exposing a child to danger. Monroe was also instructed by the magistrate to vacate the premises at Fairley Street, Tinapuna, refrain from communicating with the virtual complainant, stay 100 meters away. On, it is alleged on Saturday, 19th of June, a report was made by his common law wife to the Tunapuna police station regarding the domestic dispute. Based on extensive investigation conducted, Monroe was arrested on Sunday, 20th of June, and his firearm together with 16 wrongs. Where he, he has a personal firearm. Okay, okay. But everybody know Monroe, boy. Everybody know Monroe. Who, whoever went to university know Monroe. I know Monroe. Everybody know Monroe. Way boy, I tell you, watch me. Trouble comes on a horse back, but it leaves on a snail. You know? Way boy, a shock. A son of a Maruga police sergeant was granted 100,000 bail when he appeared before a superior magistrate on Monday, charged with allegedly raping a 15 year old girl. Darrell Jones, a security officer attached to Southwest Regional Health Authority, stood before magistrate Aidan Stroud. During a virtual hearing at the Superior Police Station, the charges that stated that the 29-year-old Jones allegedly sexually penetrated the daughter of someone he stayed by in Faisabad last Saturday. The girl parents reported the incident to the police who arrested him later. Following investigation, Sergeant Taylor of Southwestern Division Child Protection Unit charged him with the sexual penetration of a minor. He was granted bail at the police station. Way boy. Also, ladies and gentlemen, detectives from Special Operation Response Unit and Professional Standard Bureau arrested three police officers after they reportedly robbed a drug dealer in the South Trinidad on, of cash and drugs on Friday. The officers attached to Northeastern Division Task Force were apprehended by SWAT officers in Gasparilla on Friday night. The officers claimed that they were on a legitimate exercise. However, when the PSB contacted their seniors, there was no ver verification that the Northeastern Division Task Force had been on any legitimate exercise. So these are the three officers. All right, so we don't... We'll... All right, so nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, just let you know what's going on. Also, a post-mortem done last Friday on the body of a 29-year-old woman who was discovered dead at a Malik apartment on June 6, revealed she died as a result of a gunshot wound to her head. Samantha Williams, decomposing body, was found at her home along basement extension, Upper 7th Avenue, Malik Baratari, on Sunday, the 6th of June. A spencer was found in the apartment. Williams' body was found by a relative who went to check on her as she had been... She had not been heard from in some weeks. Unbelievable, yeah? Also, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Avinash Sao faces two charges of infamous and disgraceful conduct. Sao, who was accused of making racist statements in phone calls with a former employee, has also been told the medical board has set up a tribunal. The board hopes the tribunal can hold its first meeting on July the 2nd. So he faces two charges. Unbelievable, un unbelievable. Also, ladies and gentlemen, before I take that break, the case of missing Khadija Fleming took a twist yesterday when messages were posted on her Facebook account profile that claimed she was alive and will return home. Two weeks after Fleming went missing, daily searches mounted to locate her. This, a, this series of Facebook posts were made from her profile. Among the posts was, which read, I am alive and well, accompanied by a picture of the missing woman. Well, you can't confirm that as yet. You can't confirm that as yet. You can't confirm that as yet. Imagine, they want to find commissioner. They want to find commissioner. You want to do this. You want to do that. Everything that they do, everything that they do is to just control the people. Control them. Control them. Control them. Control them. You bring in a commissioner. You know what service commission get involved? Yesterday, the opposition leader had a meeting and we carried it live and she explained it well. Fast break. Perfect. 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 Local store at and the Gans. It's where you'll find only the best of brands. Also got an automotive plus more. You'll find it all, you'll find it at the tool store. At the tool store, it's only tools for.
your journey. Our passion at Brandtech. Visit us today at number 10 Londonville Main Road, Montrose, Shiguanas. Or contact us at 672-8575. Now open on Saturdays. Stuff and Drugs now open at Heartland Plaza in Shiguanas. First World Drugstore with best prices on drugs, vitamins, toiletries, stationery, grocery items, baby products and more. We also carry British Parliament Hilton and Water, Mara Beans imported directly from Italy, Bottle Nexium, Allegra, Zitec, Gourmet Foods and Snacks. A selection of products not offered by any other pharmacy in Trinidad. So visit us today. Rami! The perfect blend of flavor. The best for your baby is at thebesttoys.com. From the best strollers, car seats, baby carriers, high chairs, booster seats, rockers, jumpers and bouncers, walkers, baby blankets, feeding accessories, bathtubs, gyms and playmats, playpens, cribs, baby swings, changing tables, diaper bags, clothing and accessories, and the widest range of educational toys. Shop online at thebesttoys.com. We have nationwide delivery. This, um, I, I, I sent a person on the group, Happy Birthday, to, what's her name again? Um, Kati? Patsy, Harry Pasada. Happy Birthday to you, Patsy. Also, ladies and gentlemen, today we lose we'll, the... the the media fell into mourning today we lost a, a great guy here alal yeah real real nice fella real real nice fella here alal i remember the last time i mean every crime scene i go on he was a freelancer i think he started off with gael and um he really well, was a freelancer and it's so so sad yeah every crime scene I and mean, we always had this thing <laughs> every time we're gonna crime scene here yeah, alal I have a better camera than you was, and you need to get a good camera. And you always telling me what this, what that, the camera, which camera could do this. You know? But he was a great guy, really, really, really a great guy. So, you know, he passed away this month. His fight. But he, he, he went through a lot in the last few years. His house burned down, his daughter died in the house. Yeah, he went through a hard time. And after, I remember that. I can't remember how many years ago, but a good few years ago, I think I was on the scene. August 2013, yeah. 2015, yeah, this was August 2015. Face. 2015, look at me, Lord. Yeah, but at the end of the day, it's it, it, it just sad. It's just sad. Harry, so, you know, his daughter that perished in the fire and he never got over that. I mean, no parent could ever get over that. Eh? No parent would lose that child. And today, when he left his wife behind and other kids and his family, well, his family, and it's just sad. It's just, just sad. Really, really sad. You know, Zik, you know, you know him too. Yeah, we all work with him. We all, we, we, we know him from. He was just a nice guy. You had to like him. He take his work real serious. Yeah, yeah. He take his camera thing like. Yeah, because we always fall out. Yeah, like every time you see here, Alal. Yeah, I have the exclusive. So when we go to crime, that's years ago. We're not going to crime. See him. Yeah. He say, I come late. I said, no, here, Alala, here already. Well, I already get the exclusive. I said, all right, here, Alala, you're okay. Okay, you get it, you get it. So it was always a, a thing with us, but, but, you know, was, but you know, it was one love. It was, it was cool. But it's so sad and also, you know, that's why I tell you, that, you know why I'm really upset? 761 persons in this country, not so many people had to die. And you have to understand that. We have 761 persons. If we had the vaccine, if we had paid and not run racket for vaccine, we would not have reached this point. We wouldn't have to send 450 persons from Caribbean Airlines on the breadline. And it's not a matter of giving them a package. The package got done. Where they gonna get work from? Who are you in who right now in this country? Who are you in people? Eh, are you in nobody? Who already have their people? They will make sure they might cut down people. Okay, we're not gonna send home no workers, but we're running tight right now. I mean, 
somebody engineer, somebody IT, somebody graphics, all the graphics staff and whatnot. Yeah, we have things, but we don't need everybody right now. But that doesn't say that we're going to give them a package, no, because they're going to all come back. They're going to come back maybe from next month. Everybody's going to be back, back in the fall. But we're not going to hire nobody again. So, but, but, so when Carl give you money, and the money done, what are you going to do? All that, all that. And today to the family, of, and today ladies and gentlemen, again, the person of Frankie Sammy to his, mo his mother and father and his relatives and to his wife and whatnot, we lost a good one. We lost a real good one. A real, real good one. My real person. I don't have time. I don't have time because it will take me so long to tell you how this boy and I start. This boy and I start and often win TV together. How we all work together. And look how funny life is here. Yeah? As I was chatting with someone today. That as you go, you know, as you go along, so many people you meet and you tell them your dreams, you tell them what you want to become, you tell them they see you work hard and, they, and you know, they have just passed on now. And it's like when you reach up, there ain't nobody to celebrate it with you. How many people we have lost? And that is why I'm so upset because all this did not happen. You know? Of course, there's a pandemic. People would have died, but not 761. People would not have suffered in the hospital. Nobody had to teeth your phone in Kuva Hospital. Nobody had to do that. I'll tell you more tomorrow, but I have so much to tell you. But nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, I just want you to know tonight, I am your voice here, yeah? and nobody is coming to bully we. I, I, I'm not going to say bully us. I say it, bully we. Nobody are coming to bully you and I. We are taking no heart, no talk. It's so we can shut down. What's on? Tell them, tell the minister, know your place, start a backpedal. You better find vaccine, Mr. Man. Because come next week, is it Saturday when you come out to talk? Monday, we're going to deal with you. You see, this whole week, we're going to deal with you again. Who are information? Send it to me. We will deal with them. We will deal with them. We will deal with them. We will expose them for their lies. Ladies and gentlemen, those of you who wish to advertise, make sure, get your ad on Crime Watch. I want to say a special good evening to SS Passad Supermarket. Also, Ramis and all those of you who advertise and uh, all the other people, thank you again. Good night. Yo, there's a jungle out. There's a, there's a, there's a jungle out. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come, we ain't playing. It's the last thing on our minds.